Dude, what what are you wearing on your head? Well, hello there, Mr. Tori, if you may. I am the Darth Vader, Lord of the Sith. Yes, very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Well, no, 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 I am totally the Darth Vader. Towards the goal. Dude, you, you look nothing like Darth Vader. Uh, well, look, it's our stars on the bottom. No, no, I see that, but you look, you look nothing, nothing like Darth Vader at all. Uh, <coughs> you better, dude. You, you calm down a little bit, or you're gonna, you're gonna get too overagitated. And you're gonna hyperventilate and pass out, pass out. Pass out. Well, crap. What do I do now? I guess I could host the. Oh no, I'm better now. I'm good. Crap. Really good. Crap. Hey boys and girls, get ready for an all new toy review with Duvall and my best puppy pal, Puppy Duvall! Games and Kids Hey guys, welcome to all new review. Almost it was that close to getting the host again by myself. That close, and he had to wake up. I don't know where the little turd went though. Like he passed out, and he was. Mr. Toy Review Man. So truly good to see you again. It's wrong movie. Completely wrong movie. What? No, no, I am the Dark Fighters, Lord of the Sith. And when we finish reviewing the toys, you have my permission to die. Dude! That's Batman. No. Yeah, that's Batman. No, it's not. That is Bane. You are no, doing Bane. No, no, you are not. doing Bane. I am no. You are not doing Darth Vader. No, 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 no. You were just talking normally. Did you just meet me moop in the Bane voice? I moop like an angel. Let's just get on with the review, Mr. Toy Review Man. These, this is what I deal with. That's Bane, that's not Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader sounds like uh, Mufasa's father from Lion King. It's James Earl Jones. <laughs> not Tom Hardy. Simba! You seem like an angel! <laughs> uh, 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 my head hurts. It hurts. It's horrible. You're gonna be alright? You're not gonna pass out again on me, are you? Oh, let us get on with the review a little bit more. Anyway, as you can tell, we're here with a very cool Star Wars review for... Your breathing mechanism is so loud in my ear. I'm sorry to hear that. Here, let me, let me do that to adjust it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You don't even need that thing to breathe right. Actually, it's making it quite difficult. I can imagine. You're not, literally, you're gonna pass out again on me? Cause you... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Let us just review the toy. Okay, the okay, man. okay. This is one of the weirdest reviews I've ever had to do with him. Doesn't even have the movies right. Anyway, so we got some really... I'm Batman. No, I'm the Dead Vader, the Lord of the Sith. We got some awesome Lego Star Wars review for you this time. Uh, a couple of the smaller little Lego sets, the little ship sets that you can buy, and they're actually uh, they're actually sets uh, seven five zero three zero 
and 75031 from the Lego line of Star Wars, the micro uh, vehicles, which are really, really cool. So we've got the Millennium Falcon here, and we've got the uh, TIE Fighter and TIE Interceptor, actually is what it is, the TIE Interceptor and TIE Fighter Pilot. Um, both of these sets are really, really cool, little cute little sets. Um, the TIE Interceptor is a 92-piece set. The Millennium Falcon is a 94-piece set, uh, and they both come with minifigures. Of course, the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot uh, comes with the Interceptor there, and you can see that little TIE Fighter. Yeah, no Darth Vader though. I'd be able to show you what Darth Vader actually is, not Bane. And a little, and a little Han Solo figure, both included in here. Uh, of course, the boxes. We're all very familiar with Lego boxes. Lego always does a really good job of boxing their materials. Always makes it very easy. As you can tell, I've already got into this one, uh, but it's very easy to get into the packages. You just push the little little tab in and pull open, uh, and you find your instruction manual and your bags for the actual product. So boxes are very cool. Uh, and what I like about these two actually is that they actually will. Um, well, they go. Yep, these two actually can connect together to form a, a, actually a bigger picture. So you've got the Millennium Falcon fighting against the TIE Interceptor here, which is really, really cool. Um, it's it's a neat little idea for the LEGO packages. I don't usually see LEGO sets doing this type of thing where you can combine them into images. So this is pretty cool, actually. It's a neat little way if you wanted to display the ships in the boxes. It's a good idea because you get that that whole picture there. So that's pretty cool. You, did you see that? And then, of course, you've got your instruction manuals. Of course, Lego's really good with instruction manuals. Probably one of the best uh, in the marketplace today when it comes to building block uh, items like this. And the fact that Lego not only uh, will tell you, uh, of course, with bigger sets, and this is a smaller set, so it's all in one bag, but step-by-step -step instructions, including the, the building of the Lego minifigure where the gun goes, uh, the ship, you know, the ship building itself, all the little parts, and it gives you an idea of, it also gives you a part list in the back, as well as some great advertisements. And when you have bigger Lego sets, of course, they separate the building process by bags, especially if it's a large set. Um, each section of the instruction manual is separated by bag count. So you've got like bag one would build one portion of it, bag two would build another portion of it, bag three, bag four, so on and so on. Cool idea. And again, Lego probably the, the best, on the, it is the best uh, in the marketplace today when it comes to telling you how to build your building block items. Indeed. So we get to the actual builds of the vehicle. So we've got the little Millennium Falcon and the little TIE Interceptor. Uh, what do you say, uh, Darth Bane? That's about the character, you know. He was the one that instituted the rules of the Sith and had all the fun. What do you say we take a look at these two sets uh, in a little bit closer detail? Oh, that sounds, like that sounds like a good idea. That let's, let's take a look at them in closer detail. So out of the box and put together, you get a chance to see that these little Star Wars ships are really, really cool. I mean, yeah, they're they're super tiny. I mean, you got a little bitty, teeny, tiny Millennium Falcon. You got a little bitty, teeny, tiny uh, TIE Fighter here. Uh, but the cool thing about these is, is, is just how really, really neat they look once they're all put together. I mean, um, they're like... Let's look at the Millennium Falcon here, for instance. The Millennium Falcon actually has a, a, a number of cool little design elements. I mean, you've got the little the cockpit element here that is, is well known to Star Wars fans. Um, you've got the, the satellite dish that actually can move there. It can move up and down. The top of it, they've got they've uh, they've made some vents and stuff. Uh, the back of it here, you've got your you've got your little rockets there. Um, the bottom has the little landing platforms. They actually did. Uh, there's a, a movable part here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but the front here can move up and down for some reason. It, that's all it does, really. Um, what's really unique about these ships is that they manage to use, you know, because we're all very familiar with the very small, very little Lego pieces that are, you know, the little, the little single pieces here and the little grates and the the flat, you know, the flat circles here. We're we're really familiar with all of that, and they've made really good use of that to represent. Uh, the Millennium Falcon and the way that they've used the pieces here in the build. It's very cool uh, and I like the fact that on the top here there actually is a uh, little fire and I'll put my hand out in front here so, so I'm gonna put my hand out in front here so I can catch it but there are by pushing the missile you can actually fire the missiles and that's just all push action you're just basically forcing the missile out of their little out of their little holder there and 
basically firing them. So it's a neat little feature. It's it's nice to, to have on a little ship like this. Uh, the Han Solo figure that the, this set comes with is recognizable to everyone. I mean, it's it's a Star Wars minifigure, of course. It's it's Han Solo. There's no denying that. He comes with his trademark blaster. Um, what's cool about this is that you've got a Han Solo that has a happy face on one side here. And then if you take his head off and turn the head around here, you have a very kind of stoic, um, very calm Han Solo. So it's neat that you have two different faces here that you can use for Han Solo. And of course, you know, his shirt here is very, very well done. And again, this is, you, you can't mistake this. This is Han Solo. There's no denying that this figure is Han Solo. I love the paint apps that Lego uses on the legs here for the belt. Uh, he's very cool, and his little gun here. And then to sit him in there, you just simply, you know, simply fold his legs up and then push him right into the little cockpit area there and he fits in uh, perfectly. Now, moving on to the TIE Fighter here. This one is a little bit uh, a little bit cooler, I think, than, than the Falcon. We're gonna take the pilot out. If I get him out here, take the pilot out, there we go. Um, there are some very cool features on here for the fact that the, the wings can actually, you can actually move the, the different points of the four sections of the wing here. Um, they're on little arms here, so you can actually articulate them and move them and pretty much pose the uh, the wings of the ship however you like, um, which is really, really cool. The front of it, for some reason, the, the window spins. I'm not quite sure why, because there's really no reason for it, but it was the way they, they, they had to engineer this in order to fit. The back's the same way, the back it spins. Again, it's an engineering thing and not necessarily necessity. Um, and the bottom here actually does, again, push and, by pushing them out, just by the force of your finger pressing on the back, you can fire those missiles. That is really neat. Um, again, I love the fact that you can pose the, the wings however you feel fit, um, however you think that they would look best. Very cool to kind of kind of just pose them at whatever angle, stand them up, however you want to display it. The, the wings are there for you to, to basically figure out and have fun with. And that's a very cool little engineering point uh, on this TIE Fighter, and that's really cool. Uh, the TIE Pilot here, um, is pretty neat. Uh, again, there's no uh, there's no mistaking that that is a that's a Tie Fighter pilot. I mean, it is all you know, and his black and his 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 breather there and his his helmet. He's got a little laser pistol there. Um, there's no denying that that is a Tie Fighter pilot, and he's very neat looking. And then taking off the mask, you reveal the Tie Fighters, the clone, because of course, spoiler for anyone who's never seen the movies, but thanks to the prequels, we know that pretty much all the stormtroopers and all the uh, the Empire's uh, army are pretty much all clones for the most part, uh, or so we assume in this, you know, in the, the original trilogy. But um, you get to see his little face there, and he's he's uh, he's kind of angry. He's got an angry little face. Grrr. Um, just to put his mask back on there, you just simply pop it back over his Lego head like that, and you've got a masked, uh, a masked TIE Fighter pilot. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, to put him back in his, his TIE Fighter, the little opening here for the cockpit, you just fold his legs up and you push him down in there, and there we go. He sits in his, uh, his little TIE Fighter pod there, uh, all nice and neat. Now, there are a number of these that you can buy, and these are the first two that we've had a chance to take uh, take a look at since they've come out. Um, there are six of these, I believe, all together out there, and they're all really cool. They're done really well, and they look really, really, really nice once they're all put together. And for those of you who uh, have space issues or, uh, you know, just for a nice little project for kids uh, while they're home, uh, you know, on a rainy day or whatnot, or even uh, for those of us uh, uh, big kids who, you know, who work in an office that have a little bit of uh, space that we'd like to show off our passions and our love for either toys or Star Wars or Legos, these are perfect because these will fit on just about any shelf and not take up a whole lot of room and they look really really cool they're very neat and i suggest that you find these guys because they're cool look i know that that was a pod racer sound i just made it but i like that sound so there you go guys there's a look at the two very cool uh star wars mini vehicle sets now there's a number of these out on the marketplace. Hopefully we'll be able to get to take a look at the other ones here soon. Uh, but there you go, guys. They are really fun, cool little sets to have. Where are you, man? Pickle Don never told you what happened to your father. Well, first, his name is Pixel Dan, not Pickle Don. And uh, he's younger than me. So technically, he wouldn't be able to tell me anything about my father, really. I mean, that that's <clears> cool. The, the fire 
better hand ever been. Younger, <laughs> yo younger, 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 and her name is Carrie. Not <laughs> 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 We're not doing that joke. We are not doing the joke. We are not doing that joke. These people expect that joke to happen with us. We are better than this. We are better, better. We're not doing the joke. No, 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 no. Go. We're not doing the joke. We're not doing that joke. Sorry. We almost went off completely off the rails there and gave you a joke that you pretty much expect to happen anyway but there you go guys uh look at the two cool uh, two cool little uh, mini vehicles uh and then you know you check these out you can find them at toys r us you can find them at walmart it's pretty much anywhere that sells lego products so make sure you speed out and grab these today and uh remember gang uh keep playing with your toys <laughs> really really <sighs> Keep playing with your toys, gang. No. Really? No. Oh my gosh. No. Unbelievable. Then now you're back to Mimi Boo. No, 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 no. No. I don't I I don't get him. I really don't. Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? Say it again! I don't know what's happening with him. This is great. Usually he's the one embarrassing me, not embarrassing himself. <laughs> the whole father thing. Ah! Oh my god. Did you get it caught in your hair there, little guy? Ah! You alright down there, little dude? Oh god. Nice. Or, oh, Mr. I was saying that the, uh, the straps that old were difficult to manipulate. I understand, I understand. Again, gang. Hey, we're really spinning our wheels on this one. Oh, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Keep we should wrap this up. Yeah, keep, keep playing with the toys, gang. You know what they always say in the Star Wars universe? May the shorts be with you. Dude! What? Still the wrong movie! What? May the shorts is space balls. May the it's force. A, it's the same. It, it's, 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 it's the same. It's so the same. Oh. Mm. No. Mm. This is bad. <laughs>